Hi, this is Paul Solentrop at WichitaEagle and Kansas.com with another edition of the Missouri Valley Conference Travel Channel where we're going to take a look at Evansville, Indiana and the Valley's smallest school, the University of Evansville. It's also one of the newer members of the Missouri Valley Conference. It joined in 1994-95 and in a lot of ways it still feels like the new kid on the block, I think mostly, because they haven't had a lot of success in men's basketball. Uh, Evansville had a, a great run in the Midwestern Collegiate Conference uh, and then it joined the Missouri Valley in 1994. It won the Valley title in 1999, but since then it's kind of dis disappeared. It hasn't been uh, an upper half to finisher very often since. Uh, and when it, when it joined the Valley, it appeared that the Valley was making a great addition. The Aces won MCC titles in 1987, 1989, 1992, and 1993 but it couldn't transfer that success into the into the valley and while Marty Simmons the current coach does a really nice job of making the aces a tough out as Wichita State fans can attest after 2013 uh, they haven't taken their turn at the top of the conference and they've largely sat on the sidelines over the past 10 or 12 years while many of the other conference members really raised their profile and, and had success in the NCAA tournament a uh, few Aces fans travel to St. Louis for the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, since joining, the team has won five tournament games, and only twice in 1999 and 2012 has it even made it to the semifinals. So the net result is a fan base that really hadn't invested in the Missouri Valley Conference. Uh, I always leave Evansville feeling like it was once the kind of place that lived and died with the Aces, and, and now it doesn't. It's a shame because Evansville was a great small college power back when that group was known as the College Division and they played a, played a tournament. Uh, the Aces wore their sleeves. They won NCAA titles in 1959, 1960, 1964, 65, and 71 under coach Eric McCutcheon. He coached the Aces from 1946 to 1977. And one of his trademarks, besides winning a lot of basketball games, was wearing red socks. Had great players, uh, names that even today would be recognized by, by big college basketball fans, big NBA fans such as Jerry Sloan and Don Boozy. Uh, I really enjoyed going to Roberts Stadium, which is where the Aces played from 1956 to 2011, and where they won several of those national titles. There was some great bas basketball played in that arena, uh, but the Aces haven't been able to recapture that success. Evansville's population is 125,000, and the enrollment of the university, which is a, a private university, non-denominational, the enrollment is 2,800, which makes it the Valley's smallest school by a large margin. Uh, even other private schools, such as Bradley and Drake, are almost twice as big. Evansville moved to the Ford Center, which opened in 2011, and it's in downtown Evansville. Uh, very nice arena. It's got all the modern amenities, and there's a lot of potential there should the Aces be able to recapture the interest of their, of their fans. It features several displays uh, that highlight Evansville basketball and area basketball uh, around the state and the region, and there's a memorial to the uh, 29 people that were killed in a 1977 plane crash that uh, ended the life of, of everyone on the team and, and Evansville coach Bobby Watson. The Ford Center Seats around 11,000, uh, also is home to a uh, uh, minor league hockey team, and of course has concerts and, and those kind of things. And it's an arena that the Aces really struggle to fill. Usually it's the lower bowl only, they curtain off the, the top part. Uh, and they're going to have to really recapture their glory days to, you know, to be able to consistently fill that, that kind of an arena on, on a regular basis. Uh, when you play in a downtown arena or a city arena, you have to, practice time is sometimes a challenge. And last fall, Evansville opened a practice facility on campus for the men's and women's team, which I'm sure is very, very convenient for them. So thank you very much for watching this edition of the Missouri Valley Conference Travel Channel. We'll be back with our next stop, Peoria, Illinois, and the Bradley Braves.